Yo, 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 what's good? Uh, you know, I like to double up, triple up on these videos. Uh, but it's Timmy Legling once again, and um, hope you've been enjoying the content. Um, out of all these videos, I never like said, hey, hey, like these videos and subscribe. But if you could, you know, if, like and subscribe to these videos, you know, I greatly appreciate it. Um, Try to do better with, I guess, marketing. I honestly, I don't really don't care about that more than the purpose, you know. But you know, I feel like there's a lot of good stuff, a good content in these videos, and there's a lot of stuff going on. So I just, you know, hope that you are liking and, and subscribing and just, you know, commenting and just let me know your thoughts on these topics because it's like this is a lot of stuff that a lot of us men need to speak about and a lot of us need to be aware of. But um. Yeah, um, I got one last thing to talk about. Only got a couple minutes left on the camera, you know, but I've been recording like six to seven videos at a time. So it's just all on one memory card. <laughs> I'm just kind of just compiling them up and then I'll drop them on my, uh, my hard drive. This is all technical talk and I shouldn't be talking to y'all about all this stuff, but I don't care. But I got a new topic that I want to talk about before this camera uh, time runs out. And... This is another thing that I've experienced, and you start to realize people ain't your real friends. Um, I'm not going to get into, like, a deep testimony time, but I just remember times when, like, when I was getting drunk and getting high before. And um, I remember I just make a complete fool out of myself out in public, and nobody cared. You know, nobody sat me down, nobody pulled me to the side and said, yo, Timmy, you need to... You know, until it was too late, you know. Even after the fact, nobody ever said, hey, Timmy, like, yo, you, you were wrong for what you were doing. Like, nobody ever told me anything. Like, I don't, I'm the type of person, man, if you love me, man, you're going to tell me my faults and what I'm doing wrong. And I know a lot of us are having fun and stuff like that, but I really had some embarrassing moments. Like, if people pull out their phones and just record me, you know, at, at one of these parties, people pulled their phones out and just recorded me. And it was something like terrible. Like it was some terrible that I was doing that I should have not been doing that I'm not even going to even say on here. <laughs> I'm not even going to say what happened. All I know is that pe people pulled their phones out and recorded me. And it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. And it was the, one of the most terrible things that I could do <laughs> and I was black, I was drunk, and nobody tried to stop me. They recorded me and laughed at me. And it was humiliating to even know, like, that I could even get to that point. But once you black out drunk, you're not thinking about none of that. You know, but if you had some real friends, they gonna pull you to the side, be like, yo, bro, like, yo, that's too much. Like, you doing not like, I got to see my real friends from that, but the main reason how I got to really see my real friends was when I started to have children. And you start to cut out like certain stuff. Like this is before I came to the truth of God. I was already cutting off partying. I stopped partying. Like I did um, even cut off drinking. And that's when I started smoking more. But at least I cut out drinking and getting drunk. I was just getting high and stuff. But um, even then people cut themselves off from me. And then it got to a deeper level. You know, once <laughs> you start to... Once you move by yourself, and God put me in a place where I've been isolated for like the past uh, almost four years, I've been like isolated before like coming to the church community that I've been in since January. But um, yeah, I've been isolated. And of course, I'm not communicating with nobody because I'm, I'm in my own mind and I'm learning like people got their own lives. You know, but um, you know, it's, it's some people you hit up and it's just like, or it's just some people that hit you up and it's just like some things just don't fall and and it's just like some people ain't really like fake it's just sometimes it's life just splits apart you know and, and and we go two different directions you know and if i see you it's still gonna be genuine it's still love for you so i have a lot of people like that where it's just like yeah i got love for you you got love for me and i know that so that's 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 always gonna be solidified but um chill out there but um yeah as far as um <clears throat> like fake people when i say fake people those are people that if you spend enough time away from them they treat you differently like, like 
you could tell it just in their vibe like because me i'm genuine so matter if i've seen you in five to ten years i'm gonna treat you the exact same way that then from the last time i saw you if i saw you 10 years ago i'm gonna treat you that exact same way that i saw you 10 years ago i ain't gonna treat you any different but some people just switch on you some people will flip on you and it'd it, it be so crazy it'd be people that you've been with mad years for your life you start to walk with the most high god and you start to stand on the principles of god and watch what happens i remember just putting out all my thoughts on social media about god and you start to see people's true feelings towards you when it and it ain't it ain't even you and we wrestle not against flesh and blood so this ain't even a people this is a principalities that govern this earth that 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 brainwashes people that keeps them in this matrix so it's the principalities that are attacking the God that's in you. And that's when you realize it ain't even them. It's, it's what's in you. Because he that is in you is greater than he who is in the world. So what's in you, that spirit, man, that, that, especially if you feel with the Holy Spirit and you moving and you walking in that power, people are going to see that. In the flesh, they get jealous of you. They feel envious of you. Like they hate you. And it seemed like it's for no reason. You just being you. You being genuine. You just, like, you just got that vibe about you that people rock with. And some people in the spirit just don't feel it. And that's when the spirits of envy and, and, and jealousy, you know, just, just, just like King Saul with, with David. You know, in the moment David slayed Goliath and Saul started to get jealous of him. And as the years went by and David was growing up more mightier and mightier, Saul's just indignation towards him just grew more and more. Like, that's how it is when you just grow more and more with this walk with God. And that's one thing that I started to see, like, in my personal walk. Like, it's been people that loved me, I thought, for years. People that I thought was genuine with me for years. People that I ate with, you know, people that I struggled with for years. All flipped and switched on me the moment that I started to believe in God. Walk into the truth of God and start walking by the power of the Holy Spirit and start reading the Bible and, 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 and start to really gain discernment of this world around you and this matrix around you and point it out and watch how people defend this matrix. Watch how people defend this world. Speak about the celebrities and these evil celebrities and watch how people defend these evil celebrities and they will fight you and nail and tooth <laughs> over these celebrities. Somebody will probably shoot you over their favorite favorite sports team. You feel me? Let's go, bro. You know, but people out here ain't your real friends. You know, um, people fake. People real fake. <laughs> you might think they cool with you No, they not cool with you I think it's easier for me to see this stuff As a As a man that's been walking with God But I could clearly see this stuff even as a child People want to use me for my homework <laughs> You know but Mama you say oh, No you can't use my homework You start, They start to switch on you Flip just like that And I like, know you can't copy my answers You know so I've been dealing with this stuff for years. I've been dealing with this stuff for over 20 years already. I've been dealing with fake people and people being fake towards me. So this ain't new to me. Becoming a Christian, this ain't new to me. This is already, God tested, like God put me through the fires already as a child to prepare me for this personally. So if I could give you any wisdom and share any wisdom with you, you gonna know if they're your friend. You gonna know if they really love you. Because I'm, I'm going to put the scripture right there. What you That's what love is. Read that scripture. Love is kind. Love is patient. Love is gentle. Love don't envy. <laughs> I don't know it all, but I just know that it ain't. If they really love you, you're going to see the fruits of the spirit in them. You're going to see joy. You're going to see and, and long-suffering and patient with you. You know, you're going to... I'm going to put it down there and you read it for yourself. You know, I'm, but ultimately, if somebody loves you, you're going to know it. You're going to feel it. And it ain't just no, like, like my feelings. Like, no, you you know when somebody loves you. You know when somebody being real with you. And I hope that I said something that can spark something in you. You know, and us as grown-ups, like, you know, it's, 
it's different for us grown ups. Like we can kind of see stuff easier based on the experience and life that we have. And hopefully, if you're growing up, if you're grown up, you have some sort of wisdom. Some grown ups don't have wisdom and don't know this stuff. But I'm more so, you know, there's teenagers that's gonna watch this as well, you know. And watch, watch how, watch how dudes just like, just watch how people treat you in in your schools. You know, just. Girls start to like you. Watch, watch how other dudes treat you, or you start to get attention from people. Like even girls start to get, if you start getting attention, you start pay attention to the popular students, the popular kids, and look at how they treat each other. You don't want to be oh look chemtrails. That's a big streak too. That is a large chemtrail streak. That is crazy. <laughs> That's almost like a long cloud. They trying to <laughs> They trying to murder us out here. Nah, regardless though, you know, just it's in children, it's in grown ups, it's in old people, it's it's in churches, it's at the workplace. You gonna see it everywhere. You're gonna see who's real and who's not real. But this is why like like I said, I got people that I love but they ain't my friends, you know, like you know, but we genuine. But you ain't my friend. You know, but my friends I can count on one hand. A couple fingers actually. And those are my friends. And I'm cool with that. You ever watch these sitcoms and these TV shows and you see like like Family Guy for example. And I don't watch Family Guy anymore, but let me use that as an example. You got Peter, you got uh Joe, you got Quagmire. Um, and you got Cleveland. You feel me? It's, it's just them four. Like, and and those are the four that hang out. You, you don't see no extra outside people. Or you might see um, you might see like Mort like pop up, circle around like Mort or somebody random like, <laughs> or like the pirate dude might be show up and random like you know what I'm saying? Like it's random people like that that. That, that circles around, but if you got a solid group of friends, like, if you need, like, all you need is, like, one or two people, really. Like, one, two, three people, so, like, you don't need friends like that. Now, if you got a congregation of people, as far as a church, that's different. Like, he, he that lays his life down for his friends, you know, like, and when we look at scripture, you know, our brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, those definitely should be our, our friends, in a sense. You know, and the ultimate friend should be a spouse. You know, that should be your best friend. Above every single human being that lives on the planet Earth. A spouse. Not your child, not your mom, not this. Like, if you're male, not your male best friend. If you're female, not your female best. No. Your true friend, your true best friend should be a spouse if you have one. You know, but if you don't have a spouse, you should have brother. Like as, as a man, you should have brothers that you can congregate with, and as a woman, you should have women that you can congregate with. And if you're younger, and if you're younger boys, you should have boys that you can congregate with. And for the younger girls, you should have girls that you should congregate with. You know, I feel like it shouldn't be no best friends, male, females. Like that stuff never works out, and it's a waste of time on both ends, and it don't lead to nothing. And this is why a lot of relationships fail. And this is why there's a lot of jealousy, you know, and it's just like, man, that's just my friend, man. That's just my, and, and she like my sister. She like, he like my brother, you know, and stuff like that. Like, we know people be lying about that stuff. So if you're genuine about it and that's really like your brother, or that's really like your sister, it don't matter. If you with somebody, and especially if you're talking about the long haul and marriage, like, you're not going to want to have that in your life, you know. But ultimately, you're going to know who your true friends is. You, you're going to know who your true friends are. You're going to know who your best friends are. You, you're going to know that stuff. You know, but um, for me, you know, just based on scriptures, like, he that don't do the will of my father ain't nothing, honestly. <laughs> you know, but I still have people that I love that I desire to minister to and tell the truth, to speak the truth to. And, you know, hope that they can come on the light side, you know. Right? <laughs> you know Holy Ghost party, hey, hey, it's a Holy Ghost party, but, <laughs> but ultimately, 
Like, I hope I said something else that can spark something in you. You know, to just look at the people intently in your life. Like, look at the people in your life and just ask yourself, like, yo, are you my friend for real? Like, because people overuse the word friend. Like, I have, like, 5,000 friends on Facebook. Then I realized, like, none of y'all real. Now I got, like, I got 900 now <laughs> since becoming a Christian. So if I go from 5,000 to 900 friends since becoming a Christian... If I go from 4,000 followers to like 2,000 something followers, it's a big difference. If my views on my videos go from the thousands to less than 50 views on my videos, then that says something <laughs> about who's real and who's not. But ultimately, God knows who's real. God knows what the place in my life and God knows who ears that this message need to be brought to. And I hope that it could help you. And may the Holy Spirit be with you. And God bless. Him.